What's up? It's Zach. Uh, we've almost been in the tent for one year. Can't believe it's been that long already, but we've almost made it. So I decided it was time to do a walkthrough tour. I said I was going to about nine months ago and I never did, but better late than never. So um, a couple things before we head inside. One is everyone always asks the cost of the build. So I'll knock that out right away. The total thing was $5,000. That is including our composting toilets and every other uh, purchase that we did to outfit the inside, 5,000 total. The actual structure alone was probably, I always wanna say about 3,000, which um, sounds good, so we'll go with that. So it doesn't cost too much to build this structure and get going. Um, the other thing is how many square feet is it? It is 304. I was homeschooled, so my math may be off, square feet. But other than that, that is about all the details that I can give you up front. The rest of it I can walk through as we walk on inside. So let's go ahead and do that. Made a nice little garden path. We tried not to move any of the actual uh, existing plants that were here. The idea was just to make kind of a secret garden feel. So as we come on in, we've got our garden over to the left-hand side, the pumpkins exploding. Um, lots of wildflowers. Um, we have our barbecue, which we do about 95% of our cooking on. And of course, the infamous fire pits with the giant rivered rocks that we hauled on over. Um, kids are hanging out doing something. There's Katie. Say hi. Hi. Uh, here's the front of the tent. Uh, it is literally a tent. It is a canvas tent, and we have a uh, uh, just basically a plastic, a 30 mil plastic tarp over the top, which helps with insulation and keeping the weather out. Um, our front deck is a 10 by 16 deck that I built out of a bunch of barn wood. Also helped down to uh, cut down the cost of the tent. Um, once those French doors are opened up, the inside feels very big because of the clear front that we did. Um, so it never feels like you're in a small space at all. So we can start walking on in, open up the doors. And right when you walk in, you can see we did pretty big ceilings on the inside. Um, so we never really feel like we are in a small structure with that um, tall ceiling. But right over to the right, we have our dining table, um, made for the four of us. And it works absolutely fantastic. Lots of dining there. Um, we do have a TV with a DVD player hooked up so we can watch some Netflix and chill, obviously. Um, the Berkey, we do have a well hookup from Katie's mom. So we have plenty of well water, so we filter that through the Berkey and we basically have an endless supply of fresh water. Um, right to the left of that, we have our kitchen setup. It's a very basic kitchen setup, but again, it is very functional and we have pulled off a year of life with using this setup. We don't have any plumbing. We do have this just uh, gravity fed system that we use uh, when it has water in it. That is the only downside. <laughs> <laughs> but we basically just pour water into that and we have the pipe running out to the back. Outside I drill the hole through the plywood and the tent and we run that into a bucket for the gray water. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we can use that for watering. We use all organic soap and all that stuff. And the only thing we put down there is um, excess food like bacon grease and little parts of eggs and stuff so all that can just be dumped into the garden and used for watering wherever we feel like um, the closet nobody has ever seen the closet and here it is right next to the fire extinguisher safety first no one has ever seen this because it is probably the least pretty thing in our tent it is four feet by eight feet but it fits all of our crap. By all of our crap, I mean all of it. We have a lot of clothes. I did a lot of hanging systems, but in here you can see that literally there's just canvas on the walls. You punch right into it. I got lazy and didn't put plywood over there. And I just didn't really want to spend the money, but it works just as well without the plywood walls. So there's the closet, your first look and absolute disappointment in our closet. Um, here's our little pantry set up for all our dry goods. That set up, I can't open it. Nope. <laughs> Apparently I'm not allowed to open it, but yeah, there's stuff in there. Um, here's our main countertop that we use for cooking. 
uh, we do our breakfast in the winter time, especially on this guy, because it is pretty freaking cold outside, and so nobody wants to go outside early in the morning. Uh, our fridge, we have a three cubic square foot fridge. It has served us well. We have to go grocery shopping every week and we have to shove everything in there to make it all fit, but it keeps our food fresh and it really hasn't been a problem up until now. So going from right over there, we'll head on over to the bathroom. And if you didn't notice, all of that wood that I have is all reclaimed wood that I built. Um, it was from an old barn from Idaho that somebody hauled all the way to New Mexico. Not sure who would do that, but I scored it and I basically built our whole tent out of it. So that barn door slides open and we have our super functional bathroom with our composting toilets, which has been great. That cost $1,000 and that is also included in the $5,000 total build cost. Um, there's a sink and it does not work, but it looks great. So yeah, between that and the composting toilet, that is about all we got for our bathroom. And again, severe disappointment from everyone watching. Right off of that is our living room. Um, we don't do a ton of sitting, but it is nice to have a couch to lay down on or just hang out on from a hard day of living in a tent. But if you look back out from the front, I'll scoot back so you guys can get the full effect. You can see how open the whole front fills and it really does not feel at all like it is 304 square feet. It feels much bigger and we have done one year almost total so we've gotten all the seasons and we've survived and no sight of stopping at this point. Um, up there we have our loft area. Um, we have a little pipe ladder that goes all the way up. I'll give you guys a sneak peek. I'm not sure what the condition is but having little ones in the loft was kind of a scary thought. We did put a little sliding door so we can lock them in when they are uh, uh, up here sleeping and we are not. But other than that, we have a king size bed and again, it is nothing fancy, but we can sleep super hard on it and it is great. Um, that little peak has been great for winter time when it's cold, all the heat just kind of flows right up into the peak. And then summertime, I was kind of scared that it would be too hot, but as of now, we've made it through this whole summer and we have not had one night where we could not sleep up here because of the heat. So that was kind of great and it was a decently hot summer. So if you guys have any questions about what it's like to live in the tent or how we uh, go about certain issues or just our lifestyle in general, um, just leave a comment in the comment section with your question and I'll be doing future videos. So I'll get to those questions um, with a video in the future. You can also head over to at Den for our Cubs on Instagram. I post a lot of uh, other info on there as well as stories and stuff like that. So you guys can follow along with our daily life on there. And thanks for watching.